Okay, so I've got some I've got some Om chanting in the background today. It's just a little different music. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> Okay, all right, bring your hands up and we'll get started and get a nice big stretch. Oh, what is today, 18th or 19th? I think it's the 19th, Father's Day, Juneteenth Day. Yeah, breathing in. And feel your spine stretching, slowly open up all your joints and then relax, let go. I'm still learning how to relax all the muscles and not direct them at times. And I think I'm relaxed, but there's a lot of times where I'm holding on to that tension and anticipating. So it takes a lot of practice to truly relax and let go and just let the muscles fall by themselves. Put your mind way up in the sky. Nice deep breath. Open the throat. Open the chest. Open the lungs. And sink. Start to learn how to direct with your fingertips. Coordinate the timing of your breath and the movement. Lead with the mind. So think about what you want to do first. Imagine you flowing the chi down through all the meridians, through the 12 channels, through the central channel. Imagine it's flowing into the earth, displacing the earth chi so it rises around us. And then you cycle it back in with the chi from way above. Slowly imagine you pouring it down through the center of the head, down through the, the spine, through the nervous system. Imagine it flowing out through every nerve, every fiber. So the chi flows out through every part of your body as you come down. Imagine it flowing through the blood system through every vein, every artery, every capillary, moving and flushing. <clears throat> Imagine it flowing down and through the bones, stimulating the bone marrow, waking up every bit of bone in your body, the skull, <clears throat> the vertebrae, some of it flows out through your shoulder blades and your arms, through your fingertips. Breathing in and out. Slowly let your hands fall to the side, just rest them down. Gently close your eyes. Practice letting go of all the tension in your body so the arms hang right down at the side of your body. <clears throat> Feel yourself relaxing every part of your body. The eyes, the cheeks, just let go. The spine straightens out, the chin dips down, tongue is on the upper palate, throat is open. As you breathe in, the lower belly expands and then relaxes. Release the tension in your shoulders, so your arms hang straight down at the side. Release the tension in your hips and your pelvic, in your legs. S 
slowly start suspending your head from above. You can feel the, the neck opening, gently pulling on the rest of the spine while you relax the pelvic joints and relax the breathing. Gently expand the legs into the earth. You can feel the toes, the tip of the toes pressing and sinking into the earth. Release the pelvic joint. You can feel the top of the thighs gently activating so the legs press and sink into the earth. You can feel the body expanding both directions, being suspended from above and sinking into the earth. The pelvic relaxed, the shoulders relaxed, breathing relaxed. Slowly open your eyes as you take a deep breath. Gently let it all out. Gently pull your abdominals in, squeeze out a little bit more air. And then relax and let your stomach expand and the air rush into your body. Feel it filling up your abdominals and your lungs and your throat. And then let it all out. One more time, deep breath. And breathe normally when you're done. Turn your palms to the front. Relax your arms and your elbows. And as you breathe in, start your first warm up, slowly picking up the hands, like washing the face. Turning the palms continuously and feel your shoulder blades pressing just a little bit and then down, letting everything go. Just the head falling, opening up the neck. Breathing in as you rise and exhaling when you press out. Not too far. Finish the breath, go at your own speed. Look straight ahead. Relax the neck as your head falls. Gently stretch just the fingertips. Feel how the fingertips pull on the fingers, then the wrist, the forearms, opens up the elbow joint, opens up the shoulders. One more time. Let everything go. Number two, picking up one hand and turning your head to the side. Breathing in as you turn, looking right over the fingertips. Finish your breath and then exhale. Again, be sure to go at your own speed, your own pace. If you need to take an extra breath, just take an extra breath. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Keep the fingers straight, extending just from your fingertips. Do one more time, both sides. Back to the center when you're done, in front of the throat. And then down. Just one time. You move to the shoulder blades. Fold your arms and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Squeeze them all the way in before you start rolling them up and over. Let the arms hang right at the side. Move all the way down. 
slowly rotate the palms the entire time. Do three times and then come forward. Turn the palms out when you come forward. And let all the tension go. Just let your arms hang straight down. It's only the shoulder blades. You need that muscle under the shoulder blade that you're, you're controlling. Okay, after you finish this, relax and do one side. Remember to relax your waist, relax your neck. Allow your body and your head to turn with the movement. Keep the body upright. <clears throat> the body is turning right around the spine. Remember to keep both feet sinking into the earth. <clears throat> three times and then come forward pull the shoulder blade forward first make sure the other arm is relaxed down relax and then do the other side when you're ready So three times back and then three times forward. Just really focusing on the inside lower corner of, of the shoulder blade. Just focus on squeezing and stretching that muscle under the shoulder blade everything else follows and when you're done two times or both arms back to front and then front to back and after you finish that loose circles loose circles will help let all the tension go Just winding and shaking it out. And then slow it down. And then coordinate it with your breath. Breathing in and out. Lightly stretching the fingertips. Slowly rotating the palms. Letting the arms fall straight down at the side. Slowly turning the waist with the movement. Let go of the shoulders, let go of the elbows. As you turn the waist, you should feel the legs pumping, the knees moving. Keeping both feet flat on the floor. So both legs are extending into the earth. Top of the head suspended. All the joints loose and moving. And the palms constantly rotating. And one more time and come back to center. Let everything go. And hold the ball right in front of you. Feel your shoulder blades 
and then slowly separate one hand up one hand down turn the palm away from you feel the shoulder blades connect and then slowly extend the arms keeping the shoulder blades connected and stretching fingertips lightly stretching feet flat on the floor sinking into the earth be sure to relax your throat and your chest and expand your lower belly take a deep breath and expand and as you exhale let the bottom hand wash through the forearm rising then falling Feel the shoulder blades connecting, the palms right in the center of the body. Slowly stretching the shoulder blades away, Show, slowly expanding from the fingertips. Hip is relaxed, elbow down. Just expanding but releasing all the tension. Feel the rib cage opening up. Feel that stretch going through your spine, through the hip, down to the other leg. Connecting the fingertips to the toes. Finally, take a deep breath. Expanding and then relaxing. Let everything fall perfectly back into place. Breathing in right where the palms pass. Expand and finish the breath. And exhale when you're ready. Right where the palms pass, start breathing in. Feel every vertebrae expand. Feel the rib cage expanding. Feel the lower hip expanding, the back. Feel that stretch gently reaching down to your feet and gently reaching up through the fingertips. Feel the warmth of the palm as it washes through the forearm. That warmth or that little ticklish feeling or that vibration. Do one more and then we'll do our spirals. Turn the palm back and drop the elbow straight down in the center, turning your waist. Wash the outside. Turn the waist, turn, 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 lift, and then gently rotate out towards the upper elbow. Relax the shoulders, palms right in the center of the body. And tuck the elbow in while you turn your waist, palm facing you, and turn while the Hand rises and rotates and turn. Exhale when you come down. That's the release. Inhale as you wind up. Then exhale as you release and turn. And then start inhaling again. And then exhale. To release and then inhale and exhale let everything go when you exhale and expand deep breath exhale but expand inhale exhale but expand come back to center Finish your movement, do three times, reminding yourself of the little sun in your chest, warm and cool and putting out energy to your whole body, connected to the sun in the sky. Feel your shoulder blades moving. Turn the palms up and down and keep rotating towards your upper elbow. Relax the shoulder blades, let the palms wind. Keep the spine straight, but let it twist. 
and exhale as you come back again relax the shoulders let everything go feel yourself winding and twisting as you finish the breath exhale then inhale release the spine exhale right at the center you want to start inhaling again and exhale and then right at the center you start inhaling again last time come back to center soloplex Nice deep breath, expanding, shifting forward. And forward and down. Oh, funny, there's a big ball of light on me on the side camera, some kind of glare. <laughs> Bring the feet in. Okay, so legs, legs resting. So relax the hips, relax the legs. See if you can just let the legs rest. Don't take, don't pull them up, don't press them down. See if you can just release all the tension so the legs are a little heavy, just resting on the earth. Okay, and then start with the hands. See, so keep the feet just resting. Right, no intent on the legs, are just resting. Just the hands drawing the chi up. And down. Gently pulling the chi up from the earth and then pumping it back down, displacing the earth chi. See if you can feel any difference at the bottom of your feet or your legs as your hands draw up and down. Let everything go, finish the movement and then begin again. Breathing in and out. Let everything go, finish the movement. Okay, pick up leg and hand, one leg, left or right, doesn't matter. Step forward and now start pressing that leg into the earth. Keep the body nice and straight as the back leg releases and comes back down. The back leg presses, the front leg releases, back and then down and then out. Walking in place. Slowly trying to coordinate the leg and the hand, let everything go, and then begin again. Gently keep the knees pointed straight. Okay, don't let the knees turn in or out. Listen, listen to your body, see if it's pulling one way or the other. Front leg pressing, pressing, pressing into the earth. In the back leg, pressing into the earth. Heavy, sinking. Taking your time, last time. Come back to center. Hold the ball, okay, shifting to the hips and pelvic joint, turning one way, dropping the knee first, breathing in and reaching, turn the waist, and exhale when you come back. Drop the other knee, turn the other way, breathe in as you slide out, relax the shoulder joints. Want to open? Warm up and stretch the pelvic joint. Rotate right around the spine. 
Release all the tension in your muscles. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. Just turning the waist one last time. And come back to center, just below the belly button. Loose fist resting on the hip. Okay, picking up opposite hand and fist. I'm sorry, hand and foot. Stretch the heel out, feel the back of the knee stretching, and then lift. Slowly bring it back, keeping your upper body nice and upright. Breathing in and out, taking your time. Yeah, let the back of the knee stretch. Relax the standing leg. If you want to work on your balance and a little bit more leg strength, you can do this standing. Just make sure you're in a nice safe place. You can do it next to a wall or a chair or something to support yourself. And the trick is to relax. If you feel unstable, just lift your sternum up and relax and sink. Press the foot, turn the waist. And then come back, lifting the knee as high as you comfortably can and then down. Turn the body, turn the body. One more time, one more time, each leg. Just breathe normally. Breathe normally, you'll know when to inhale and when to exhale. Heel and then pump the foot and turn the waist. And then down. And relax, let everything go. Pick up the ball. Right in front of the heart. Do an open and close where you remind yourself to do the Sun Qigong. And then pick up one knee, 45, and heel and toe. Relax the other leg. Sink the other leg into the earth. Relax the upper body. Switch to the other side. The whole time remembering that little sun in the chest. Switch, small toe, big toe. And switch when you're done with this one. One more time and then we'll come back to center. Relax. And then draw the heels up. Stretch the bottom of the feet. Upper body relaxed. Just pulling the Pulling the heels up, stretching the toes, stretch the bottom of the feet. Relax the breath. Shake it out and then we'll do it one more time. Pull, pull all the way up, all the way up, yeah. All the way up, stretch the toes. Okay, shake it out. And do some gentle percussion and the movement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thank you again for for um, allowing us to have that Sunday off last week. We, we were at uh, Magic Island for a third year third year old birthday party. First time I went into the water and played in the water in years. 
Good thing I didn't drown. <laughs> but I was having a lot of cramping in my legs and it was so cold. I wasn't used to it. <laughs> it was so windy last Sunday at Magic Island. Oh, I was so cold in the water and my granddaughter wouldn't let me out. <laughs> she just wanted to play and play. She had a good time. So, so couldn't, couldn't refuse. She asked me to go in the water with her, basically. Yeah. yeah but it really is, it's really been years since I've <laughs> swum. Yeah, whether in the pool or in the salt water. Somewhere I have, um, I have a wetsuit and basic diving gear somewhere. <laughs> Skin diving, you know. Okay. So we'll run through, we'll run through our set and we view the set. Um, so remember to, um, remember to try and keep your body nice and straight. Keep the sternum up. Right? You can just, if you look at the side camera, just by tilting my sternum. Right, that little movement, you can see how it straightens me up. But as a, you tilt the sternum up, you have to relax. And the, the hip has to swivel forward. You know, so you have to drop the pelvic, let it swivel forward, relax, and then tilt this up. And feel the spine pulling, right, suspended from the, from the giddy giddy. So as you pull and suspend from here, it'll tilt the chin down. Right? This will swivel down. And you just have to, you have to let go so everything can open. Okay, and then while you're holding that suspension, you let go of the hips and gently press the feet into the earth. You can feel, you can feel these muscles starting to activate. Press the toes down. And the arms are hanging straight at the side. Make sure you're breathing. You're breathing from the top way up in the universe. It spirals down through the top of your head, sinks down to your lower tantin, right? about three inches below your belly button or three fingers and right in the center. And as you do this, open the throat, relax the shoulders. Just let the abdominals expand. And if you want, you can take a little deeper breath at the very end, then relax and let it collapse by itself. And if you want, you can squeeze it out a little bit and then relax. Take a deep breath in, let it all out. Slowly expand the fingertips, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the elbows center of the palms are facing each other slowly gathering up the chi in your palms and then when you're ready as you breathe in you pick up your hands relaxing and dropping the shoulders relaxing the elbows extending the fingertips feeling the whole body filling out and connect that with your heart Number one, commencement. Two, rolling the ball away. Bringing it down, adding movement into the body. Rising, coming out, extending, and coming back. One, open and close. Breathing in and out okay you put your hands down i just need to okay i had to check something on my phone i might have a little sound interruption there that's okay all right so we'll do that one more time okay, so commencement breathing in out and one open and close 
Okay, continuing, turning to your right, same direction as me, your right, single whip. Palms are flat, fingers are extended, and then keep on turning to one saw. Relax the shoulder joints. Okay, turn up to 45 degrees. Learn to turn your waist. While you're turning the waist, the knees are still pointing straight. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing the shoulder joints. Eyes looking right over the fingertips at the mountain. Last time, and we finish on your right side. Palms start coming back together, holding the ball, turning a little bit to the left and spiral back to the center. Right into that open and close. And then we we'll repeat on the left side, turning and pressing, and then opening. Flowing right into one saw. Cloud hands. Relax the fingers, but let them stretch just the fingertips. Relax the shoulders so the elbows hang straight down. And eyes follow the fingers staring at the mountain top. time and finish on the left side palms start coming back to center turn a little bit to the right while you spiral back to center brushing the knee starting on the, your right side so turn and slide your right hand up breathing in then just drop the palm and exhale Relax, fingertips, then heel of palm, lower hand just sweeps past. Keep on turning a little bit while the palms turn center and then turn 45 degrees to the right. Left hand rising, fingertips about shoulder height. And turn to your left and cradle the ball, right hand under the elbow and then parry right and then parry left using the shooting palms for a seated. The left hand's gonna flip over and cover. Under the right, the wrist make a cross, the body turns 45 while you breathe in and grab both fists. As you exhale, turn your waist and let your right hand rise to the height of the throat and then release both hands back to center. Drop your shoulder and elbow as you draw your palms back. Gathering, compressing in the lower tantin, and then lift the sternum. Double palms pressing. Release the shoulder and draw the chi back to the heart. Remembering to do the sun chi kong. Then we repeat on the left side. Turn to your left, left hand rises. We're doing brush knee, breathing in. And out. Lift your sternum. Keep on turning the palms face center. And then 45 to your left. Right hand rising. Just the fingertips about shoulder height. And then turn and cradle the ball. On the right side, left hand under the right elbow. Then parry left and parry right using our shooting palms. Turn and then turn and cover, right hand flips over. Turn 45, let the wrists cross each other, breathe in and grab. Nice deep breath and exhale and turn and keep on squeezing. And then let go, 
come back to center drawing back rolling back compressing lift the sternum double palms pressing draw them back in one open and close sun qigong heart and lung qigong repeat on the left side brushing the knee turn and slide the left hand up breathing in then fingertips exhale the bottom hand just sweeps to the side lift the sternum fold into the left right hand sneaks in and then out dropping the shoulders and elbows and turn the palms a little bit in drop the shoulders and then come down center turn the waist to the left turn the waist back to the right as you rise under the chin turn the waist back to the left as you extend the palm and then let the whole body spiral drop the shoulder and elbow swivel both palms to the front and then release right back to a perfect open and close and then we repeat on the right side starting with the brush knee so turn and slide the right hand up breathing in and out release and then lift the sternum let everything go leisurely tying the coat right side left hand comes in and then out turn the waist turn the palms a little bit in and then center relax the shoulders turn the waist fingertips connect turn the waist as you extend the left palm out big spiral let the shoulder and elbows go double palm pressing forward and then release right into an open and close sternum up sun in the chest next section turn to your right and press and then open dropping your right hand turning the waist to a fist under elbow turn back bottom hand holds a fist Fold and unfold the joints with fist under elbow, breathing in. And as you exhale, turn your waist so the fist punches straight to the belly button. Squeeze the fist and then let go. Open. Folding up and turning to your right. Left hand sliding down, breathing in and brushing the left knee. Lift the sternum. Turn the palms, keep turning your waist to the left, repulse monkey, breathing in and out, lift the sternum, let all the tension go, expand, turn to your right, left hand sliding down on repulse monkey, breathing in, fingertips, heel of palm, leisurely tying the coat, fold, left hand rises to the face both palms turn into the center a little bit and turn lift extend big spiral double palm heart lung qigong sun qigong and repeat on your left side turn and then open start dropping the left hand turn the waist and then turn back to left fist on the right elbow breathing in and exhale and turn left fist squeezing and punching and then releasing repulse monkey left Exhale, brushing the knee. Lift the sternum, repulse monkey right. Brushing the knee, repulse monkey left. Brushing the knee. 
leisurely tying the coat fold turn the waist right hand comes out left hand has to get out of the way palms turn a little and then wipe down to the belly button left fingertips attached to the wrist drop the shoulders and elbows and then push the right palm out extend the fingertips in big circle big wind up and release double palm open and close think of the sun in your chest drop your shoulders and elbows and palms to the front extend the shoulder blades while you lift the sternum slowly let everything go let all the tension in your shoulders your arms the whole body go as everything comes back perfectly into place draw the feet back in take a deep breath let it all out take another deep breath while you bring the hands up gathering the chi gently cycling it down through the body make sure we open up any blockages you created during the set just imagine you're gathering that energy and flowing it through all the meridians flow it through all the 12 channels and the central channel flow it through the channels right on the side of the spine Imagine it flowing and opening up all the blockages, flowing into the earth. Open up, yeah. Open up the nervous system. Make sure the chi flows through every nerve of your body. Make sure it flows through every bone of your body, stimulating all the bone marrow, creating blood, creating more bone cells. it flows through every cell of your body muscle bone nerve all the organs flushing and moving the chi allowing your body to rebalance itself bring your palms together gently resting right at the sternum gently closing the eyes relaxing the breath slowly letting everything center and calm down and stabilize Done. slowly bring your hands down open your eyes relax move your legs around oh that worked out just right okay so we'll take our we'll take our break here we'll come back in five to ten minutes and we'll review some things and review some qigong um, probably go over line playing with line playing with the ball and some other things okay take a short break i need to go